This video is an introduction to section 4.5, which covers the fundamental theorem of algebra and how complex numbers and factoring polynomials relate to this. In the 18th century, Carl Gauss, who is pictured on the left, proved that all polynomials can be factored by using complex numbers. And he called this idea the fundamental theorem of algebra, which is a really important theorem that we're going to be using throughout this section. So this theorem says that the degree of the polynomial tells us the number of zeros, real or complex, that we have. So if the degree is n, that means we have n zeros. Or more specifically, if we have a degree of 5, that means we have 5 zeros, and the number of real and complex zeros we have need to add up to 5. And so this gives us a lot more information that we can use when graphing, and it's going to help us factor. So we have some objectives for this section, but the main ones are really to understand three different theorems. So the first is understanding the fundamental theorem of algebra. The second is understanding the number of zeros theorem. And the third is being able to understand the conjugate zeros theorem, which is also a very important theorem that many students forget about. And so it basically says that if we have a um, complex zero, that its conjugate or opposite in sign is also a zero of the polynomial. So if 5i, let's say, is a zero, that means negative 5i is also a zero. So that's a really important theorem to keep in your back pocket when we're solving problems. Um, we're also going to determine the number of real and complex zeros graphically, create polynomial functions that have real and complex zeros, and lastly, factor and solve polynomials that have complex zeros.